Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Okay, at verse 15, that he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that ye, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height, and to know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above, all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. Unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. Now go with me to Philippians. Starting at verse 3, I thank my God upon every remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine for you all, making requests with joy for your fellowship in the gospel from the full day until now from the first day until now. Being confident, this is the key, being confident of this very thing, that he which has begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. He who began a good work in you He who began a good work in you will be faithful to complete it. He'll be faithful to complete it. He who started a work will be faithful to complete it in you. I want to exhort you. Never give up on yourself in every way, shape, and form for this service. God has pressed that point home. What Andrea shared about throwing things away when they're still growing and developing because you can't see the progress, that does not mean progress is not happening. Listen, because you can't see the oxygen does not mean you're not breathing it in.